What are you doing in church? Or am I still in church? Or is this part of the law court office? I left my sick bed. Well, I'll go back to your sick bed. Joseph, you don't seriously believe you can defend yourself. Make choice. Defend myself or defy you. Defy the court. All of you. What's this? We use these visual aids. Lectures and sermons. Yes, how your particular delusion is described in the writings which preface the law. Before the law, there stands a guard. A man comes from the country seeking admittance to the law, but the guard cannot admit him. Can the man hope to enter at a later time? I've heard it before. We've all heard it. The man is dying of old age, still waiting there. And just at the end, the guard tells him that the door was meant for him, only for him. The guard tells him no one could enter this door. And now I'm going to close it. Some commentators have pointed out that the man came to the door of his own free will. And we're supposed to swallow all that? It's all true? We needn't accept everything as true. Only as necessary. God, what a miserable conclusion. It turns lying into a universal principle. By attempting to defy the court by such an obviously mad gesture, you hope to plead insanity. You've laid some foundation for that claim by appearing to believe yourself that Victim of some kind of conspiracy. That's a symptom of lunacy, isn't it? Delusions of persecution. Delusions? Well... I don't pretend to be a martyr, no. Not even a victim of society? I am a member of society. Do you think you can persuade the court that you're not responsible by reason of lunacy? I think that's what the court wants me to believe. Yes? That's the conspiracy to persuade us all that the whole world is crazy, formless, meaningless, absurd. That's the dirty game. So I've lost my case. What of it? You, you're losing too. It's all lost. Lost. So what? Does that sentence the entire universe to lunacy?